This video is for the sixth grade fundraising assignment three, adding pictures. First, you're gonna to go to wevideo.com and then you're going to click login in the top right corner. And then you'll click on login with Google. And from here, what you're going to do is you're going to rest your pointer over your work and click on continue editing. Next, what you're going to do is open up a new tab. And in the new tab, you're going to go to search.creativecommons.org. Next, what you're going to do is click on Google Images and then you're going to type what you want to search for and make sure that both of the check marks is, are, are checked off okay and then you're going to find a picture click on it once and then put your pointer on it and you're going to two finger click on your touchpad and choose save image as and then click on Google Drive and click Save. Next, you're gonna click back over to the Wii Video tab and you're going to click on the Media folder. Click on the green arrow to upload the picture and then you're gonna click on Browse to Select and then you'll click on Google Drive and I happen to have a bunch of folders but um, Hopefully you'll see your picture right away. And you'll click on it and click on open. Then click on upload. And then once it says queued for processing, you can click on the X. And I happen to have a bunch of files here, but um, there we go, there's our picture. So then what you're going to do is you're going to click and drag your picture to appear in the video one section of the timeline. You're gonna click on it once and then put your pointer at the end and make sure that it ends at the same time as your first text box. So then you'll just continue um, uploading other pictures. So you'll repeat um, going on to Google, two finger clicking, saving the image, and then going over to Wii Video, uploading, and then dragging it into your work. So basically what you want to do, I happen to have a bunch of pictures already saved. So you want to have your pictures going at the same time as your text boxes. So here's another picture and it ends at the same time as our second text box. Um, here's a third picture. We're going to make it end the same time as our third text box just by clicking and dragging it. And then finally um, another picture. And we want that to go as long as our last text box. So um, you basically want everything to match up as far as time is concerned. Um, and you should have everything kind of all lined up and you can just rewind and hit play to make sure. Did you know that 3.9 million dogs are given up to animal shelters each year? It's not um, and if you need to change the color of the font, you can. Um, another option is to change the picture. So for example, um, this picture, it's kind of hard to read the text. So we're going to click on the um, pencil to edit and then click on this right here, color. It looks like a circle. Um, and you can change the brightness and make it darker. And then you're able to read the white text better. Um, and then click on done editing. And you want to make sure that you do that for any pictures and make sure that people are able to read your writing. And that's it.